Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Matic Film Society. Today we are taking a look at the Fujika AX3 and showing you how to shoot this camera. So this is a really good starter camera and very simple to use. Let's take a look at the top of the camera first, and over here, this is your main command dial. So on this dial, what it's going to do is it's going to change your shutter speed. There's a little silver button right here to the left of your command dial that if you have it in auto exposure or auto exposure lock, you have to press that button and then rotate the command dial and then it will show you your shutter speeds that you have going. So you can rotate your shutter speeds all the way from 1,000th of a second all the way down to one second to two seconds and then auto exposure and auto exposure lock. Over here you have your film advance lever. Just rotate that to be able to take a photo and that advances your film to the next frame. This camera is a little bit different from some other film cameras where it has an on off button. Over here is your lever that changes it from off to on or self timer and that self timer will give you a 10 second timer for your frames just a very simple thing change it like that and this camera has an electronic shutter release so if i have this off and press the shutter button it won't actually work but as soon as i turn it on it works just fine that was a two second shutter so it's nice to know that the shutter is actually working properly over here on this left side we have our film speed. This is gonna say ASA right there, which is the exact same thing as ISO. In order to change this, there's a little white button here. So you're gonna press this button and rotate this to have whatever your ISO you, your film is lined up with that white line. So if we have a 200 speed film in there, we rotate that to the 200 mark and show it right there. That's all that you have to worry about on the top of this camera. But then looking at the lens, this is very similar to pretty much every other film camera out there. You have your aperture right here that goes from f16 to f1.6. And so f1.6 is going to give you a bright wide aperture to let in a lot of light. f16 is going to give you a smaller aperture to let in less light. So if it's a really bright sunny day, you'll be closer to f16 or f11. If it's a darker environment, you'll be at f2.8 or f1.6. And then the focusing ring is right up here on the lens as well. This camera takes the very simple and standard six volt battery that pretty much all standard film SLRs take. It's really easy to find. This is your battery door right here on the left side of the lens. Just press this little tab and pop that open and it comes out over this way. Try not to lose it. This is the very standard six volt four LR44 battery and it's very easy to come by. I think they're two or three dollars. You just need to pop that in there and then put your film door back on and that's going to make it so that you can actually shoot this camera. So now when we advance the frame, it fires off. Now we're gonna take a look at how to load film into this camera. And loading film into this camera is very simple. All you need to do is come over here and you pull this tab up. And so once that's up, it's going to pull out just a little bit, not all the way, but then in order to open your film door, you pull it just a little bit more and it pops the film door open. And so now that we've got the film door open, what we can do is we can load this up with some 35 millimeter film. You're gonna get your film canister and it's gonna have a little bit of a tab coming out of it like this. And this is your film leader. Take this knob section right here and see how there's a little cutout on the camera. So you're gonna take that knob section and put it right down there and then close this down and lock it so that it spins onto the film and now it won't come out. You're gonna take your leader and you're gonna pull it over this way just a little bit, just until these little ratchet paws are able to reach to these holes on the film. And then you're gonna tuck this tab of film into here and that just adds a little bit of tension onto the film just to grab it a little bit and then rotate your film advance lever until it rotates through and grabs that film and you're going to want to have your camera on while you're doing this so that you can fire off the shutter and then rotate it again and so you want to have that nice and tight there and then you'll take your film door and close this up and now you've got this all loaded up with film and remember once you've loaded it with film you're going to want to change your iso setting to whatever ISO setting your film speed is. So this is a 200 speed film, so I have that set to 200 speed. And now what we're gonna show you is we're gonna show you inside the viewfinder 
and what you're gonna see when you are trying to focus this camera and what the exposure meter is actually going to show you and how to get a properly exposed image. So when looking through the viewfinder of the Fujika AX3, these are the numbers that you're going to see over here on the left side of the frame. And these are your shutter speeds that it's showing you. So when you half press the shutter button, so you're going to see a blinking light and a static light. The static light is currently what my setting is at for my shutter speed and the blinking light is what this actually needs in order to get a properly exposed image. What you need to do when you're seeing these blinking lights is you need to change the settings on your lens to rotate that blinking light until it gets up until it's just a single light right there at 1 60th of a second. And so because I have my shutter speed set at 1 60th, I'm just changing my aperture up and down until I get that blinking light at 1 60th. Or if I have it here and you see the blinking lights above it, but I don't have any more that I can change my aperture, I can then increase my shutter speed to get it up to where it needs to be until I'm just getting one single light that's saying that this is ready to go and that's properly exposed. Also, when looking through the viewfinder of the Fujika, this is how your focusing system is going to work. So if you can see that in the middle that there's kind of a circle with a patch, and if you rotate your focus on your lens, it goes in and out of focus, but you can see that those two lines right in the middle of that patch are split apart from each other. And so if you rotate this, up until the point that those two lines meet perfectly that means that that section in your image where your focus is going to be perfectly in focus and that everything outside of that front to back is going to be out of focus and so in order to get a properly focused image you just rotate until you see those two lines line up bing, and you are ready to go Another kind of weird oddity that's nice with this camera, but also a little bit frustrating is this little lever right here. So this little lever, all it does is it closes your viewfinder. If you ever look through this camera, you're like, why is it all just black? I can't see anything. It's probably this little lever just got switched over. So this is the Fujika X mount lens. They're kind of tricky to come by these days. They're not so prevalent because there weren't a ton of them made, but they are still findable on eBay for a pretty good deal. And in order to take this lens off, there's a little black lever right here on the right side of the lens. You're just gonna press that and then rotate your entire lens over until it stops rotating and then it pops right off. And then in order to put these on, you have a red dot here on your camera and then you have a little silver knob right here, also a red dot on the side of the lens right there that you can kind of see. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna line those up until it sits in nice and flush and then just rotate until you hear a click and then that's all set up and ready to go and we can go shoot this thing. So once you finish shooting a roll of film with the Fujika AX3, in order to rewind the film back into the canister, you're gonna have a little white button with an R here on the top of your camera. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down that button and then once it's pressed down, you're going to lift this up here and there'll be a little arrow on your film rewind spool and you're just gonna roll that back and you'll see the film spinning in your film counter window that's right here and you'll just rotate that until the film comes out of its spool and then you're ready to go. It's all been rewound back into the canister. 